Hello everyone, bonjour tout le monde. Welcome to EFA 180 on this Friday, September 18th. Today I want to talk about hand sanitizing and its long-term effects. And I want to get into this, everything I tie it to health, right? And I tie this to health in some way, somehow. But that said, this is about a friend of mine. This is about a friend of mine that a decade plus before COVID, um, he, had a, he had a brain injury type incident and he's afraid of catching anything, right? So that man has been hand sanitizing like forever. <laughs> and I mean, multiple times a day, all the time. And if you look at his hands, they look like the, uh, the, 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 the carcasses of, of dead cattle in the desert, like dry, dry hands. And I remember telling him on multiple occasions, it's not the, um, it's not the, uh, whatever you're afraid of catching that's going to take you out. It's the constant use of absorption, right? The skin, isn't the skin the, the, one of the biggest organs on the body, the most absorbent part of the body, right? And you're constantly absorbing products. I don't care if it's safe, right? Uh, it generally regarded as safe. I don't care if it's, if it's, my point is, you're constantly doing it like occupational illness, right? I come from that background. I come from the background. I understand occupational illness and health and safety and so forth. And they look at asbestos related deaths, they, you know, plumbers. <laughs> Why? Because they're in it every day. They're working with it. And even though they do the testing and that kind of stuff, there's still particles. And even though you think they all do the testing and so on and go in prepared, right, with their designated substance reports and et cetera, they don't. <laughs> A lot of them, they don't. And, and, and you can go granular on that world. But the reason I want to tie it into is that the plumbers, that's why occupational illness, because they do it so often, that that's why they're subjected to death based on that compound right so i'm gonna go with, i'm gonna go into a uh, hand sanitizer here and i'm gonna i'm gonna back it up i'm gonna back it up and there's a lot of stuff out there on, on it and you're gonna make your own judgment on this and, and, and the conversation came from uh talking to mothers that had children and talking about their children you know with the hand sanitizers at schools and that kind of stuff and what happened ever happened to washing your hands right hand sanitizer is not designed for constant, constant, constant use, right? The makers of it would love you to do it constantly, but it's not made for constant use. You're supposed to wash your hands, right? Surgeons, surgeons don't go and lather themselves with hand sanitizer. No, they go under the water and they wash themselves really well everywhere, right? So this is why this long, the hand sanitizing issue and the back to school, right? You're back to school right now. That sanitizes away long-term effects, ladies and gentlemen. Right? And I'm going to back it up with a couple of things here. And if you, if you do your own research, but like Health Canada, Health Canada information here, uh, if, you, if you go through their website, FDA information here, um, there, there's, there's, different, there's different research out there that you can base yourself on. And from depending on the type of country you're from. However, when I look at hand sanitizing, Health Canada, FDA, right? Tons of recalls. Like that, the, those documents there, there's recalls on tons of, of uh, hand sanitizer products out there that are most likely on shelves. They're probably on people's shelves. But there's tons of recalls if you go through your, any one of your country's uh, uh, governing body that, that, that that's for health. Look at the recalls on how many hand sanitizers are up. Recommended list, right? Go with these products. Here's, a, here's April 2020. This is just recently. April 2020. Health Canada temporarily authorized the use of technical grade ethanol, okay, in hand sanitizer. So they temporarily allowed it. On that same website, on that same page, you go at it, yet it's not to be used by children. <laughs> like the, their, actual, their actual wording, right? It's, it's not to be used by children. Uh, children should not use hand sanitizer containing technical grade ethanol. I always check the labels to ensure the product does not blah, blah, blah. But in April 2020, they temporarily authorized it because of COVID, because of we needed it, right? But you can't use it in children. How many people know that, right? How many people know that? And, and, and again, long-term effect, right? So when you go to the long-term effects and, and, and issues here, dry skin, people will tell you about dry skin, the carcass hands of my friend, his hands are red. His hands are like, like raw, they're raw, right? But he's been doing it for a decade plus. So the dry skin, well, that's the outer layer. That's your outer layer being affected right it's 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 basics of, of, of science here the, they talk about weakened immune system they talk about hormonal disruptions right there's health site, sites out there that talk about that long-term effects right long-term effect of doing sanitizer every day repeatedly and now i'm thinking of covid and i'm thinking of the children and i'm thinking of the gazillions of dollars has been spent on on hand sanitizer sanitizer and how they have them everywhere now 
everywhere we had hand sanitizer. And now I'm a 54 year old man speaking to you here, but I can't even imagine children. Can you imagine their entire life? I know for a fact what, what the effects of sugar did on me and, 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 and inflammation and processed foods and et cetera, right? For what that did to my body, right? So what are the, what are the long-term effects of hand sanitizer gonna do to all the next generations growing up into this COVID mindset world, right? Whatever happened to washing your hands most of the time, right? And that's what you gotta go back to. And parents out there, children and beer, hand wash. Do you remember the community, the, the people like me, the community hand wash? I don't know if they still have those. We used to have conversations, right? There'd be four or five boys here in the boys' bathroom washing it. Now we can't say that anymore. There'd be four or five people. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm open to everything, man. So four or five people washing their hands, right? The conversation, the community thing, right? Go back to that. Go back to that 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 type of mindset, right? Have a conversation around the sink instead of the water cooler. So my point is, we need to wash our hands because my 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 curious mind knows that the long term effects it's impossible there isn't any <laughs> it's impossible that you're going to submerge yourself several times a day with hand sanitizer for a long 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 time of your life and there's not going to be any secondary effects to to the biggest organ in the body the skin that absorbs the most and you're going to put this in your body come on right come on i, I don't need to be a scientist that said do your own research. This is my own opinion. Jean-Guy Bourguignon, EFA 180.